When you were hanging the stuff, when I was looking at what you hung along the edges of the space, yeah, I was expecting, I, I was wondering also how personal it would get. So I was like, wondering if there'll be underwear, for example. There was underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, most of it was, uh, a lot of it was underwear because there was anything I brought around then. <laughs> um, yeah, there was underwear. Yeah, it had to be, my underwear had to be my own clothes, I think, was mm. more important than it had to be mine. Although I did kind of borrow like bed sheets and, and, and stuff to kind of, I guess, uh, you know, bark it up, I guess. Um, but yeah, it had to be mine, I think. Uh, and in a way, it was kind of literally framing the, 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 the space. Sure, yeah, yeah, it surrounded most of the, the area that you worked in. Yeah, yeah. it's a literal, a literal kind of landscape of, of the work, I guess. Yeah, I also enjoyed that there was a moment when I moved around the space where I wasn't sure if the clothes were yours. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I thought, oh, maybe this is the neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it needed that kind of ambiguity as to how much of it is staged and how much is actually, you know, an action that happened and, mm. you know, of, of the action of the everyday, I guess. Um, so, yeah, a lot of it's kind of that, that, that sense of, uh, uh, yeah. What those boundaries are. Sure. Yeah. What are you gonna do with this? What this? Yeah. I was. Are you gonna? Are you going to keep all the material? Don't bring it back. Yeah, okay. I think I. Well, it's all in the suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> so I think so this is nothing about it being portable and some way you can just like literally take out from and from the suitcase. And yeah, I'm gonna basically bring everything back. And yeah, kind of. Use it again, and as a way of reusing these materials in different sure. ways to, as a kind of a personal economy. Uh, so yeah, I think that, that that kind of currency would make sense, and yeah, in a way of packing and unpacking. You know, yeah. Kind of. Uh, I guess this transitory spaces that I I hold to myself would kind of somehow translate into the work. Uh, so yeah, I think they they, they become sort of carriers of you know, some sort of. Even like a, a type of ritual in a way, you know, like oh, like my own belief system or something, <laughs> you know, because I keep reusing it. Are you going to move around a lot this year? Uh, I'm, I'm mostly in the UK, I think, but I'm, I, yeah, I haven't actually planned for this much of this year, so we'll, we'll see. Um, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll have to do more residencies and, um, yeah, just kind of like see how this thing can be uh, unfolded in different kind of contexts. When are, you, when are you going to start writing for your PhD? Uh, so I'm about like 10 months in. Um, so it's, it's a three year funded thing. So okay. I think last, last year I have to start writing. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, I, mean, I think writing is the hardest thing in, in the sense of, uh, because I think the work is a, uh, already a form of writing. It's yeah. Like a way of writing space. Uh, so to translate that into like, mm. You know, a text is uh, yeah, it's, it's I think it's 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 formatic and then it's attention and I don't think I've found a way to write it yet. Yeah, that that makes sense. And also the PhD level you have is a lot of yes rationalizing the self. A lot, yeah. Both the self as a person but also as the practitioner. Yes. Into history yeah. and then you have to a lot of justifications. Yeah, it's and that's kind of matching everything to intentionality it is which is very awkward for me it can be yeah it's, it's a lot of that <coughs> and, and and i think i think there are ways you know getting around that but it's it's still you still have to be graded and marked so um yeah it's it's problematic uh, i think yeah. i'm not looking forward to that uh, that side of it but it's also a way of sustaining uh, the research and the practice sure. so it's just one of those things that you give and take uh, but yeah, there's something about like over writing. You know? Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> and it becomes this kind of almost uh, yeah, I find it very problematic because sometimes you don't want to know. You just want to just do yeah. it, right? Yeah. And then and you have to keep capturing what you're doing, uh, and, and documenting it and kind of like collating those you know, that, that, that those responses. Uh, it, it can be a can sort of make the work quite sort of petrified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's all in the space, right? Sure. It's, it's, uh, and, and the work to be broken down is, 
And some things I feel like deserves to be secrets. Yes. Yeah. Like yes. everything has to be given away. Yeah. And that doesn't mean you stop being truthful. No. Yeah. You just you, yeah. it's a generosity. Yeah. To to yourself and to others. Yeah. Right? It's a way of allowing people to come into your work. It's also a way of being you know, people of being kind to yourself without you know, some people presume that in order to yeah. you're giving everything to others is a kindness, but that's yeah. not always the case. No, it's uh, it can be a violence, right? Yeah. It can be quite you know dictating what yeah. the person should receive. And I think that the kind of the idea of an open world I think is for me it's yeah it's kind of it, it, yeah it's not resonates to me I guess. Uh, so I guess when you know you went to the sort of the format the open studio was proposed <laughs> it was like okay so how do I how does how can I kind of work with this? <laughs> so I guess that rooftop was was a solution to all that. It's a way of kind of uh, you know getting some air. Enough time already. I think I think so. It's like 16 minutes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty. Thank, Thank you. It was nice actually yeah. to uh, to have this.